Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's astrological forecast for August 5th, 2023 is the waning gibbous moody moon in dynamic Aries. Trine self-focused sun in passionate Leo. Comfort is the primary focus at the moment. Stick with what is easy and comfortable. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for August 5th, 2023 is Uruz. Uruz, the letter U. It's meaning aurochs, which are wild bison, or brute strength. Associations, strength, vitality, good health, power, and healing. Today's context is Today, your focus is on healing, so you can return to your strong, vital self. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for August 5th, 2023 is Codependency. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. This card answers your question in perhaps a surprising way because addictions are the culprit behind the issues you're attempting to resolve. This could be your own craving for substance or unhealthy behavior, or it could be that your partner's addictions are impacting your love life. This card is also an indicator of a childhood experience in an addictive family. Addictions numb the heart to pain, but they also diminish its capacity to love. Since love is the basis of your romantic partnerships, addictions become a barrier to moving forward towards true emotional intimacy. This is especially true if you are twisting yourself into knots to please a person whose dependency has lessened his or her own capacity for happiness. That no one situation will negatively affect your self-esteem and your own happiness if you continue. Fortunately, lots of support is available worldwide in the form of 12-step meetings and other addiction support fellowship models. Whether it is you or your romantic partner who has the addiction, you can find free groups near you through internet searches or by contacting a local community health center. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for August 5th, 2023 is Moon Secrets. Card 29, Moon Secrets. Cycles. Celebrate life's cycles today. Life is all about cycles. Creation depends upon cycles. The cycles that create life on earth are meshed with those that create and run the universe. We are all aware of the moon cycles and the effects they have upon life on earth. From our tides to our reproductive cycles, the moon has great influence upon our lives. For certain, the universe also has many other cycles that influence us. Everything in existence is cyclic in one form or another, or it could not exist. Cycles bring order to the universe and to our lives. There is a season for everything. Everything must happen in its own time. A cycle forms a circle, which symbolizes the continuousness of cosmic energy flow. The energy that animates each of us is never ending. It was in the beginning and will ever be. It can change forms, but it cannot be destroyed. Learn to know the cycles that affect you. Sense them. Pay attention and notice all the cycles around in your life. The seed that sprouts and grows has a cycle. Day and night are cyclic. You breathe in and you breathe out. What all these cycles tell you is that there is an order in the universe and there is an order in your life. You just have to acknowledge the order and flow with it. Don't fight it. Know that when you relax into life, things will begin to work more smoothly as you are no longer fighting against the universal energy pattern, but moving within them. Your chant, goddess moon, 
who reflects the cycles of universal force. Help me to remember all things have their perfect time of being, as well as their perfect time of ceasing in this realm. The great wheel of existence turns continually. Help me to remember I am part of that wheel and all that is. I am. So be it. Today's Daily Starseed Oracle for August 5th, 2023 is the Seas of Mintaka. The Seas of Mintaka, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. Mintaka is thought to have been a water-based planet containing the most crystal clear waters you could ever imagine. So clear that you can see for miles and miles underwater. The Seas of Mantucka card represents the crystalline clarity of potential and possibility. It's about the ability and choice to see potential in all people and situations. This could be one of your natural gifts, or it could be a sign that what you're currently doing has great potential. Mantuckans are thought to have been a galactic race who saw the light in everything and everyone. You may have received this card as a confirmation that a situation or project has extreme potential and will reach fruition. If it appears in a spread, it's a very positive sign that things are working out for the highest potential of all involved. It's a very uplifting, light-filled card that brings harmony, contentment, and positive outcomes. According to Carl Jung, that which we do not bring to the conscious appears in our life as fate. When water appears in dreams and art, it often represents the unconscious mind. Pulling this card also means that you may be called to bring to light any unconscious patterns of which you're unaware. To look at them, and see them clearly and consciously so they don't appear in your life as fate. What unconscious patterns or behaviors are ready to be brought to the light of day? Your starseed soul inquiry, how can you see the potential in a situation that you're facing? What unconscious patterns are you being called to bring to the light? Today's Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for August 5th, 2023 is Calming the Waters. Card three, Calming the Waters. Peaceful. Self-regulation. This High Priestess of Light brings her deeper powers of healing and energy to the earth and to your life. The elk antlers she wears on her golden crown act as an antenna. They receive guidance and power from the universal light, which she then channels into the earth and to the waters below. Her peaceful intentions are of balance and alignment. As she brings peace to the planet, she also calls you to calm the waters within your own life. It's time for you to take an honest look at your daily energy. Are things too hectic for you to maintain a calm approach to your tasks? You may feel you have no control, but you can and must regulate the pace of your everyday activities, always devoting some time to your own peaceful priorities. The waters of life run deep, and there are often deeper personal lessons than you may be aware of. You do have the ability to be self-directed, set boundaries, create balance, and stay calm and spirit-connected even in the middle of personal or professional storms. In the face of an unending and sometimes frantic demands of life, this card is telling you to stop 
and trust in the unwavering truth of your soul's universal connection. Your peaceful yet profound faith will calm the swirling waters and bring the blessed resolution you desire. Your affirmation, I have the infinite source of peace and calm within me. I direct my life with balance each day. Your daily energy reading for August 5th, 2023 is the astrology is telling you to stick with what is easy and comfortable. Uruz says it's time to heal. The romance oracle warns that someone in a relationship is being codependent. The fairies remind you there is a season for everything and you should not fight the universal energy flow in your life. The starseed oracle asks that you see the possibilities and potential in a situation today. The priestess of light oracle asks you to bring balance into your daily life. So you might be in this place with an individual where they are trying to be particularly codependent and in that codependent energy they are uh, bringing an upset of balance of the balance in your life you don't want to be in this this place you want to flow with the universal energy you want to be with what is easy and comfortable you want to be taking time to heal you want to make sure you're going with the universal flow so that you have balance in your life what sticks out in this combination is this person being codependent. You need to be able to see the possibility and potential in this person that they can handle this situation themselves, even if they're telling you that they can't. They can. If you weren't there to do it for them, they would find another way to get it done. And you need to remember that you need time to heal yourself and to stay in your own balance. And you're just wasting your time and you're denying this person the opportunity to grow as a human being.